on this week's Low Car Car Show. We're in Anaheim, California, soaking up the sun during this week's Brothers Show and Shine, where truck owners have come together to show off their rides. His dad bought this 1966 C10 Stepside back in 1979, and it's been in Yancey Taylor's family ever since then. Well, what's unique about this vehicle, my dad bought this truck back in 1979. Uh, we're the second owners of it. Um, I actually drove this truck when I was growing up in Georgia. I would uh, beg my dad and ride with my dad in the truck, and then I would beg him to be able to have the truck once I was 15, 16 years old. So my dad told me as long as I kept up with my grades and that I did all my chores on the farm, that he would think about giving me the truck. Well, lo and behold, on my 15th birthday, my dad held to his promise, and I ended up with my 1966 Chevy C10. Well, when I drove this truck in high school, um, I immediately replaced the um, standard six cylinder that was in it with a 350. Uh, I put a 350 turbo transmission in it, and that's what I drove when I was going back and forth to high school. One of the best memories I have with this truck is how when my dad first bought this truck, we didn't have a seat in it. So my dad had a single seat and I sat on a five gallon bucket and I used to look over, look over the dash on this hood. So when my dad would come home, I would run out to greet him on the farm and I would jump up on the step side and I'd ride back with him. And then when he would allow me to go into town with him, I'd sit on my five gallon bucket looking over the top of the dash, just excited that I was able to ride with my dad. Mark Delgado decided to restore this 66 Chevy Suburban since his brother never found the time to do it himself. Um, pretty much uh, almost everything on it. The only thing I, there's everything from uh, upgrade, five lug conversion, power disc brakes, power steering, tilt wheel, all three row Suburban seats in it, uh, 350, 350, 373 gears ran, uh, all the modern upgrades to make it reliable because it is a it is a it is a it is a driver, right? Also, Cal. A lot of I may have met a lot of friends on the way. Uh, my son, who's pretty much been around since uh, he's been around, he's seven years old himself. So he's pretty much grown up in the truck himself. So he's not with me right now, but he'll be here later. But he's always with me in this. So me and him have wonderful memories of all kinds of different shows that we attend. The hardest thing to do on it was probably obtaining. Uh, all the rows of seats in the truck. Uh, that actually took me almost three years to get in because they're very hard to, to get. They're, they don't make them aftermarket, so you just got to do your patience real well. Cleaning the rat's nests out of his 1964 C10 was the first thing Kevin Plowman did when he bought it four years ago. A buddy of mine just started stripping it and going through it and had an extra motor sitting around, which uh, 383 LS6, uh, about 600 horsepower. So we figured, well, we need somewhere to put this motor. So we put this truck together and here it is. And we drove it out from San Diego today and having a blast with it. Uh, it's frame off. So everything, everything has been modified from the suspension, um, just really everything. It's just kind of an aftermarket uh, truck. Yeah, it's a driver, it's a daily driver. We don't put it on a trailer and uh, we'll take it out and have a good time with it. It doesn't get very good gas mileage, but we have a lot of fun in it. Yeah, as far as the wood, I did that myself. Uh, pretty much did everything myself on the truck with the exception of painting it. Um, I would never do the wood again. It probably took us three months just to, to get the right finish. We sanded it, varnished it, sanded it again, and it was just, uh, it was too much work to do again, that's for sure. Um, it, it sits in the garage most of the time with a cover on it and a, a battery tender on it, but when we get out to drive it to a show, we drive it to a show and uh, enjoy it when we have it out. Um, I think any older classic car you drive, you know, you get a lot of people that appreciate it and respect it. Um, you know, you always get the thumbs ups and the waves. So uh, that's always fun. That's always fun. It's a family truck, it's not going anywhere. But I mean, if you look around the trucks out here, this is, this is very small compared to what's out here on, the, on this truck show. This 1947 Suburban was still under construction when Dennis Seaver came to the show last year, but he made sure to return this year after he finished, and boy, what an awesome ride. Well, it's a 47 Suburban. Um, it's got uh, 
a lot of body mods done to it. Suicide door, still headliner. Um, I enlarged the windows, put flat glass in it, um, custom dash, um, just a, a ton of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we built it at my house. A friend of mine uh, and I built it at the house. Well, it's a, it's a candy uh, blue, uh, oriental blue, house of colors with a silver. And I had some graphics put on it by Kelly, Tom Kelly. Um, got black interior. Ron Mangus did my interior, so. Well, um, you know, uh, well, it's, it, the steel headliner was really different. I took the top off of another Suburban, stuck it inside, you know, to get the right shape. And I enlarged the rear uh, door windows, which was, you know, it was quite a bit of work, you know. Well, I'll just go to a lot of shows this year, next couple of years, actually, that's what I plan on, you know. Been a long 10 years, so now it's time to have some fun, you know. We'll be right back with more amazing cars on the Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group. The Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group, is brought to you by Heart of Appalachia. Virginia is for lovers. Original Parts Group, world-class restoration parts, brothers truck parts, your number one source for 1947 to 87 Chevy and GM truck restoration. Low car, quality, plain and simple. A tow yard housed this 59 Chevy Apache fleet side until Tom Bender saved it from sitting in the weeds forever. Uh, I bought it, it was a lean sale car and uh, I started building it probably about 15 years ago. Uh, basically, uh, I stripped it down to the frame, I boxed the frame in, painted the frame, put a, a coilover front suspension on it with disc brakes, a rear four link uh, with a 10 bolt Chevy uh, rear end. It's got a 383 stroker Chevy engine in it with a 700R4 trans. Um, and then uh, I had uh, Kavina Collision paint, uh, paint the body for me. Uh, and assembled it, and uh, here it is today. So it's, it's about a year old. That was me, actually. That's kind of a funny story. I, uh, when the when the new Camaro body styles came out, they had that pearl green, uh, and I, I really liked that color. So I was going to paint it that color until I realized that the paint was about 1,500 bucks a quart. <laughs> so uh, I, I just went through some paint colors and found this color. Well, you know, the, the funny thing is, is when I started building this truck, my my son and my nephew were uh, 12, 13 years old, and I. I I actually taught them to weld on this frame and uh, now my son's 29 and I just got it finished so he kind of gives me a hard time about that um, but yeah it's just a long process but uh, it's 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 been around the shop I, I own an automotive shop so it's been around the shop for uh, 15 16 17 years and now to finally get it done it's like you know and everybody made fun of my color everybody loves my color now but when I painted it it literally sat in my shop for three years painted in pieces all over the place, covered up, and everybody made fun of my color until, uh, until I got it completed. Now everybody loves it. I, I am gonna probably change the, over, the overdrive spring and the transmission, it kind of stacks the shifts a little bit, but other than that, I love the way it steers, I love the power band in it, I love the way it drives, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with it. It took Jason Howard 17 of the 20 years he owned his 1955 Chevy short bed pickup to restore it to its former glory. I did everything. I bought, I bought about, I bought, I'd say six trucks to make one truck, and um, that was the outcome. I mean, you know, I had a body shop and I had my own little project going on at the time, so I just, Every time I had a chance, I'd work on it. I built it to how I wanted it, and that's why it took me so long. But I finally finished it. The trial and error, a lot of stuff, you know. But I have a friend, uh, well, my shop is in Chatsworth, and um, I have a, a friend of mine that's Tom Nelson, uh, Nelson's Racing Engine. Yeah, he's one of his guys built the engine. It's just a 350. It's not one of his like crazy horsepower motors, but it still puts out 424 horsepower on the dyno. Um, I got probably several thousand, a couple thousand miles on it. Not as much as I like to, because I don't want to get it messed up too much, but the ride's nice. It has a Mustang 2 front end, and a, uh, has a four-link rear in the rear. Uh, 78 Cadillac DeVille rear end, posi traction, is geared for the size tires that are back there. Uh, you know, I don't know, I was going to go black, and I was at the paint store, and it's just a last-minute thing. I was looking at some colors, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with this red, and I came back and painted it red.
It's time for Low Car Lowdown with Kevin Ford. Hey guys, I wanted to introduce you to a new product that Low Car's come out with. It's it's not for everybody, but it is something that's really cool that a lot of guys are, are moving towards is their vintage series throttle cables. I think it's pretty known. It, it's not just throttle cables either. I mean, we've got kick downs, we've got cruise controls, just like the rest of the low car product line. This will be available for just about any application you can think of. And we offer this thing in six different colors. You can see that here. I mean, th these things really, they bring out like a, I don't want to say retro, but just kind of a vintage vibe. And they kind of match some of the factory plug wires that guys are using, especially on your older, you know, traditional hot rods. And some of the muscle cars are even moving this way. You know, we've got a traditional stainless and, and stainless and black. And of course, we've got our universal. This just takes you to that next level, gives that, that touch of detail that's probably missing from your car. And you'll find these cables on, you know, some of the, the premier cars in the, in the country that win the car shows. And it's because of that detail that they, that they win. They match up with all the standard hardware and everything else that we do. They attach to our gas pedals just like they always have. So check us out at a show. Um, you can call us and get a catalog or you can go online at lowcar.com. Welcome back to the Low Car Car Show presented by Original Parts Group. When he was a teenager, Robert Maldonado and his father traded his first truck for this 1955 Chevy Stepside. 20 years later, he restored it. I had a couple of friends uh, help me put it together, take it apart. A good friend of mine, you know, did the paint job on it, did the restoration. It was approximately about a year to do the restoration. And uh, we painted it candy apple red because that was my dad's favorite color. Uh, so I painted it, uh, at his liking and then I put in a TCI chassis I use a house of colors uh, paint to paint it um, so it has about almost 30 coats of paint um, and uh, just about six months ago um, I took out the 383 stroker and I put in LS uh, LS3 engine and been really happy with it um, but love it my my when we were building it, it was a decision, family decision. We decided on everything, the, uh, the door handles, the uh, rims, the grill. So everything was on a, on a vote basis. And sometimes I lost and sometimes I won. So, so it's kind of everybody's input to build this truck. Uh, we ended up putting the truck in the booth at Grand Nationals uh, a couple years ago. And uh, she didn't see it, so when she saw it, she, she immediately broke down. And my mom, my mom, my brothers, and my sisters, they all started crying when you know, they saw the car because they hadn't seen it. They only saw some pictures of it. And so there was, there was the, the revealing was at the Grand Nationals. It was uh, 2017, actually, when we did the, uh, the reveal at Grand Nationals in Pomona. After he started attending car shows, Mike Reyes started with new rims and went on from there to gradually restore his 1983 Chevy C10. I got the seats or swivel, found out there from a 75 El Camino. Uh, I kind of took out the bench and put those in. And I um, got an idea of my blinkers, took out my blinkers on the side and uh, had them, a Chevy logo on them for my blinker for um, on the sides of the uh, fenders. Um, and then I decided for the color of it, looking at different colors from different cars and trucks, and I ended up going into a uh, BMW uh, 2016 B44 color code called Valencia Orange. And once I got that, I started doing my interior, which I found out it was from a manual's interior in San Bernardino. Uh, I ended up getting a rusty color. Uh, I got that and then looking at some Velocity TV series shows and I seen some uh, types of uh, design on my seats, which I went with and I asked them to do that and it came out real nice. And I like the double stitch on it. The orange came with it with the color of the truck. Um, and then I started going billet around. I got my steering wheel and here it is. Original Parts Group Incorporated, restoration tip. Here at Original Parts Group, we've got a variety of vehicles, muscle cars and luxury cars to help 
us identify and test original products that we reproduce. Uh, as you can see behind me, we've got a 1963 Cadillac Eldorado, and recently we've just manufactured the front grille emblem for that vehicle, which fits 1962 to 64 Cadillac. We've got the hood V that we've also manufactured for that vehicle, as well as another emblem is the trunk lock crest for 71 to 76 Cadillac. Uh, all of these emblems are manufactured to original factory specifications. They're die cast zinc, they're all chrome plated, and each emblem includes the mounting pins for the proper location on your hood, your trunk, or wherever it may go. So now that you've gotten to the point in your restoration where you've got a fresh paint job, all your other bits and pieces, nothing's gonna top it off. The finishing touch is brand new emblems, and you can get those from Original Parts Group through our catalog, our phone sales reps, or through our website. We'll be right back with more amazing cars on the Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group. The Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group, has been brought to you by Rod and Supply. We don't just sell them, we race them. H&M Saw, the saw that cuts straight. McKee's 37, complete auto and RV care. Advertising Edge, the official uniform of the NHRA. So here we are today, we're at uh, Brothers 20th Annual Truck Show and Shine. This is uh, probably the biggest truck show in the entire US. We got, uh, we're pushing close to probably a thousand trucks here today. We uh, put this show on for 20 years now. It's been bigger every single year. We get better quality trucks. The people are always amazing. They come out here, they got barbecues going, they got their families with them, and they're just out here enjoying each other's company and enjoying each other's trucks. And I mean, it's a really awesome day for all of us. Back in the 1970s, this 1962 GMC 6500 was Donnie Goodwin's first dump truck. So he said he just had to restore one exactly like it. Uh, it was in pretty bad shape. Bought it from a, a asphalt contractor. It was in Orange, city of Orange. And uh, all the cross members were broke. The cab was pretty smashed up. A lot of rust, fenders were bent in. Um, so I started rebuilding it. I took the frame apart and uh, all the frame cross members were broke, so I welded those all back together, drilled all the rivets out, put new bolts in. Um, uh, that's how it started. Rebuilt the motor. It has a 478 Magnum V6 uh, gas motor. Um, two transmissions, a five and a four. And it has, I updated the rear ends and rear, rear suspension to a Peterbilt air track. Everybody asked me why a dump truck, so. I've done a couple of other cars and I, who does a dump truck? Me. <laughs> you know, Brothers Trucks has been a big part of Sam's Garage for the past several years. They've been telling me about their annual show here in sunny California. This is the 20th annual. There's over a thousand GMC trucks and Chevrolet trucks here. I just hope I have enough time to see them all. This 1971 Chevy K5 Blazer was built in memory of the man who was David Aslandis' best friend growing up and who passed away two years ago. So when I found it, it was more like a barn find. Pretty good truck, just needed to be gone through, taken completely apart and put back together. And uh, this is what you have here. Um, we took it all the way down to the frame, um, did a full frame off restoration, did everything orange, to match it to our company. Uh, we redid the axles, put a Chevy 10 and a half in the rear, put a 700R4, rebuilt the transfer case, that 205 is great. Put in a Chevy LSX 454 in there, left it carbureted because it should be carbureted in this year's truck. Um, we did a full interior, completely redone by Atlas Custom Sound in Santa Maria. Um, just made it. Uh, I just want to get my license plate so I, could, so I could have everyone see that it was dedicated to my best friend that died. Yeah, we get a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hit the throttle, they want to hear it run when they and they hear it idling, and they want to hear the higher RPMs. So that motor revving up over 7,500 RPMs, it sounds pretty good. So we enjoy it. Kids love it. You know, just, just the process was really cool. Um, my wife misses me. I spent a whole year doing this. Uh, it's still brand new. We've only had it, 
running about two and a half, three months, so we're looking for the memories we are going to build. So the license plate that we got made for it, it says For You Chase, so everyone knows we built it for him. This week's winner of the Low Car Car Show's Pick of the Show Award, presented by McKee's 37, goes to Ralph Gaxiola and his sweet 1955 Chevy First Series. I, I require this uh, vehicle from uh, an old man. He's 85 years old. He's getting rid of it. So he had a uh, half-built stuff, so I started into it. I finally convinced him to sell it to me. Uh, we've had it for the past 30 years, something like that, and uh, so uh, I started working on it, and this is so far where I got so far, but you know, it's still a lot more to go. So yes, I machined most of this, uh, a lot of this parts, because uh, I'm a machinist by trade. Uh, I've been doing this for 35 years, and uh, as you can see, you know, my bicycle, I, you know, I built out from scratch, uh, painted it, uh, I wish I could do the paint, but you know, I had to pay someone to do that, but uh, most of the other work I did. I drive it all the time, as much as I can, actually. I drive it to work once or twice a week, and uh, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's, it's so, so much fun. That wraps it up for this week's Low Car Car Show at the Brothers Show and Shine in Anaheim. Be sure to join us next week as we chase the classic cars in the great race. It's a nine-day adventure along the back roads from Buffalo, New York to Nova Scotia, Canada. 